Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Pegasus Genesis Atomizer by Pitt, which uh, you can get either via forum at www.dampfertreff.de. They're based in Germany, and that's why I can't uh, pronounce the actual name of the forum, or by emailing Pitt directly at this email address here. Before I start, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review. My opinion of product made true on its necro as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead then and uh, show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so here we have the Pegasus, which is a Genesis style atomizer. Made out of stainless steel with the exception of the uh, O rings in the tank, and the overall build quality does seem to be very good. All the uh, threading on it, you know, very nice, everything screws together very smoothly. I've been uh, very impressed with the actual 510 connector, it just seems to be a very uh, neat and tidy job. And I'm going to assume that the, uh, the centre post is adjustable. I've not tried it myself, but it does look like you can put a, a small hex key in there and just adjust it if you need to. And as it is a 510 connector, that means you can use it on any device that also has a 510 thread in. The tank is made out of Pyrex glass and holds around 2.7 millilitres of e-liquid. And the top cap has a 1.2 millimetre air hole. If I take off the top cap, you can see just how thick and chunky it is, and it really is a, a very nice or solid feeling atomizer. Has 2.5 millimeter wide wick holes, and there are two of them, though I wouldn't really recommend putting a U wick in there, because obviously if you block up both holes, you've got a little chance of filling a tank up with your e-liquid. So I've just been using the one wick, and that's been working fine. And the top cap has a space for your favorite 510 drip tip, and just about every drip tip that I've tried seems to fit in there nice and snug. Now, like I said, the overall build quality of the Pegasus does seem to be very good. However, I do have one slight complaint, though, and that's to do with the positioning of the air hole in relation to the two wick holes, which hopefully you can uh, see inside the tank there. Now, to get the most amount of vapour, you need to line up the air hole directly in front of the wick hole. Now, if I line this up with the first wick hole, so I'll just loosen it off a touch, which is going to be about there, you know, it's just too loose, and it's just a... Uh, you know, the top cap feels uh, not stable at all. If I continue twisting to try and line up with the second wick hole on the opposite side, then it becomes very, very tight. And you really do have to sort of give it quite a bit of force to get it way around there. And you can get it around there eventually, but like I said, you know, you are having to use uh, quite a bit of force to do it. Ideally, I prefer to not have the O-ring now and just have it so it sits on top of the tank, you know, in similar fashion to other similar uh, Genesis style atomizers. I have tried removing the O-ring and doing that, but uh, again, I wouldn't be able to get the air hole to line up in front of a wick hole without taking the uh, tank off and sanding it down a little. So it's just a, just a little thing that lets it down, and, um, but overall, build quality seems to be very good. Okay, so I'll very quickly show you how I set up the Pegasus. So I've already pre-oxidized some 400 stainless steel mesh, which I cut out as a length of 35 millimeters by a width of 30 millimeters. Okay, so just using a small Phillips screwdriver, just going to loosen off the negative and the positive terminal screws, just so I can also uh, trap the wire underneath them. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be using some 0.20 gauge Canfield wire, and the first thing I'm going to do is attach it to the small negative post. I'm just going to hold it in place underneath the screw head and then tighten it up. Okay, so just a little tip for people who find that uh, wrapping coils around the wick is a little bit fiddly because like the uh, the wick starts sort of bending or whatever. If you just get a safety pin and uh, cut half of it off, feed that inside the wick, and that makes it uh, nice and stiff. And I personally find it just makes it a lot easier for wrapping your coils. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap probably around sort of four coils around the wick, and then finish off by trapping the wire underneath that washer there. And then once that's in place, you can just uh, tidy it up a little bit, make it look a bit more presentable. And then take the pin out, and hopefully it should look a bit like that. 
Then you should remove the excess pieces of wire, just grab hold of them, give them a bit of a spin, and they should come straight off. Eventually, there you go. And then you can just do a little test to make sure that all the coils are lighting up evenly and at the same time. If you find that uh, you know only one or two coils are lighting up, then just get a little pin or something like that. Give the coils a bit of a nudge, just to sort of move it away from uh, any unoxidized area that might be creating a bit of a short. And then eventually they should all light up like that. And a quick resistance check on the Provary tells me the coil is reading 1.3 ohms. Okay, so all I need to do now then is uh, fill up the tank. So I'm just going to whack that in there and give it a bit of a squeeze. And hopefully the capillary action will start working fairly sharpish. We should get some vapour. Let's give it a bit of a bit of a boost. Keep getting up there. And it seems to be fine. And then finally, you just need to add the top cap and then the drip tip. And like I said, you want to try and make sure you get the air hole directly in front of the wick. It is uh, a little bit stiff to do, but if you give it a bit of welly, you will get it around there eventually. And that should be about right there. Then my drip tip, and we're ready to go. Okay, so that is the Pegasus Genesis Atomizer. Let's go ahead and see what it vapes like. Okay, so that was the Pegasus, and what I'm doing now is go ahead and show you an action. So I'm going to be using it on my 69 mod. The uh, battery came off the charger around sort of half hour ago. I've been having a bit of a vapes. So it's probably reading sort of 3.9 volts, 4 volts, something like that. The uh, resistance of the coil when the last checked was 1.3 ohms, and the tank has been filled up with some 18 milligram strength tobacco flavored e liquid. It's just a, a PG e-liquid. As you see, like vapor-wise, uh, producing plenty of vapor. You have to bear in mind that the amount of uh, vapor production and throat heat you're going to get, and flavor as well, is going to be sort of fairly down to your own sort of personal setup with regards to what sort of uh, uh, wattage or voltage you're putting through it, what sort of resistance you've made the coil, what sort of e liquid you're using, whether it's a PG based e liquid or a VG based e liquid, but nevertheless, I'm still getting uh, plenty of vapor, flavor, and throw hit. The, um, the warmth of the vapour, it's, uh, I'll describe it as sort of, uh, sort of lukewarm. It's, uh, it's not particularly hot, but it's definitely not uh, what I would class as like a cold vape. And again, this will sort of vary depending on what sort of uh, voltage or wattage you're pushing through it and the actual resistance of the coil. But you know, how I've got it set up here, if I was going to say that one was a really cold vape and five was like a really hot vape, I'd probably put it around sort of two and a half, three. You know, it's just what I've described as a, no, a fairly sort of warmish vape. The drawer is, um, it's not loose, but it's, it's not tight. It's sort of pretty much right there in the middle. If I was going to say like one was a, a really loose draw and five was a, a really tight draw, it's probably around sort of two and a half, something like that. Now you've got that little bit of resistance there, you know, which is you know how I sort of quite like it. I don't sort of have to suck the life out of it to get a nice drag, but I really don't like um, like overly airy draws either. So for me, you know, the actual um, resistance seems to be a pretty much bottom for my sort of personal taste. Uh, with regards to the um, 
ease of setup. You know, I think it has been a, a fairly sort of uh, easy sort of atomizer to get up and running. Um, beginners obviously may sort of struggle, but that's the same with any sort of uh, Genesis atomizer. It does take a little bit of getting used to and uh, knowing a few little sort of uh, workarounds and how to get all your coals to light, light up evenly, and that, and that will sort of come with experience. Um, for people who have been using Genesis atomizer beforehand, I don't think you're gonna have any sort of problems at all setting it up. I said it's pretty uh, straightforward. Um, as long as the uh, the wick is oxidised, that's obviously like the uh, the main thing with any sort of Genesis atomizer. You know, so in terms of ease of setup, you know, if one was really difficult and five was you know really easy, it's probably going to be you know sort of a four or something like that. You know, it is uh, pretty straightforward really. Build quality wise, I mean like um. Overall, you know, it's, it's very good. Like the threads are very nice, you know, the 510 connector on it, very neat and tidy job done on that. And you know, it screws in perfectly, all the, all the parts all screw together you know, very smoothly. The only thing that sort of slightly lets it down for me is having this big sort of fat O-ring going around the uh, the base of the tank there, or the, uh, the top of the tank and the base of the top cap. Uh, personally, I prefer it without the O-ring, and so you can just sort of uh, screw it down, and obviously that, uh, you haven't got the O-ring visible. And uh, also because of that O-ring, it does make it very tight in order to be able to get the air hole to line up uh, with the wick hole, which is obviously quite important if you want to get a really nice amount of vapour. If you line it up with the first hole, you know, you know, as soon as you start being a little bit of resistance, then it's just, it's just way too loose. You wouldn't be able to, well, you could use it like that, but it'd be um, you know, wobbly all over the place. And to get it to line up to the second one, you have to sort of give it quite a bit of a, bit of a twist. And now you probably could remove that O-ring take the other uh, tank off and sand it down just a little bit at a time, put the top cap back on and sort of uh, try and sort of line it up with that wick hole. I'm not too sure whether that O-ring's been put on there because uh, you know, there's experience in leaks or anything like that, but I wouldn't have thought you would do that because it is quite similar to other sort of Genesis atomizers. I've not had any sort of leaking problems when they've not had the O-ring on there. You know, so uh, overall build quality, machines seems to be uh, very nice. You know, nice sort of thick, solid metal pieces as well. You know, you can drop that on the floor, stamp on it, and you're not going to really sort of do much damage, apart from obviously to uh, maybe the tank. You know, so overall, like machine coil seems to be, uh, you know, pretty good really. You know, um. Oh, well, it's just a, you know, a really nice vape. You're, nothing sort of new or exciting, no sort of standout sort of features as such, but it's just a very nice atomizer, nicely, uh, nicely machined as well. And I'm sure the vast majority of, my, <laughs> the vast majority of people who've got one, I'm pretty certain they'll be uh, very happy with it. Now, if you do fancy trying one out for yourself, then you've either got to go along to www.dampfertreff.de, which I, I first assumed it was going to be a website, you know, you can add one to your cart, check out, which would be the ideal situation. But uh, when I went in there, it was a, a forum, and it's a German forum. I couldn't make any or two out of it, because obviously I don't speak German. Um, and I really couldn't be bothered to sort of search through the German forum to try and find the thread where you put your name down a list, or even if there is a list. So use Google Chrome, go along there, and try and decipher it all, and you might find it. Or, which I think is probably going to be the easiest option, send an email to this uh, address here and then hopefully it'll get back to you and uh, arrange a sale that way. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com That's e-sig-reviews.com Cheers guys, happy vaping, see you later.